You want to see how I paint? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Brie here. I am finally doing this video. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I do the curls, how I paint them, draw them. So here we go. Finally, these are my three steps for curls. So first things first, hand movement. How are you moving your hand is the most important part of actually getting the curl to come out how you want it. I use gouache with markers. It's kind of a two-step process with that. And then finally, layering, layering, layering. For this piece, I used a very fine tip watercolor brush, but honestly, you can use any fine tip brush you have around. I used Copic markers in clay and dark bark shades, as well as gouache in white and yellow ochre. So first things first, grab a piece of plain paper and a pen and let's practice the hand movement. The way I'm moving my hand here, it's kind of a very subtle shake, but that's the key to really getting the texture to look natural and realistic. When you're trying to draw a hair texture like this, a lot of people make the mistake of trying to draw a curl the way they see in their mind, a perfectly shaped spiral. And honestly, that's not what our hair pattern looks like. It's way more random and kind of sporadic with the curves and the turns of the line. So this kind of shaking of your hand and practicing doing that is really gonna help you when you're actually using the paint. So here's my little trick. I layer the paint with marker. Honestly, I don't know how I started doing this. I This is just how it works for me. I've tried a bunch of different ways of just kind of fooling around with paint, but this is how I get that transparency with the fullness and the texture. And it's just, yeah, it's just perfect. This is how I do it. This is my little trick. <laughs> 